Hello. Hello and good morning. You've been married 20 years more. You've brought up the kids together. Maybe you've even got some grandchildren. But you're not happy. In fact, you've been miserable for years, but you've stuck it out loyally. What do you do? Do you get up and leave? Do you secretly wonder if there's something better out there now? Well, that's what you did, Leslie, isn't it? 21 years you married and suddenly you're up and off. Why? There were lots of reasons, really. But one specific was that I was left on my own most of the time. He was off working one night a week and then it was two nights a week. And I was spending more time on my own than I was with him. How long were you unhappy? Probably a number of years, but it took me one final year before I realised that I'd had enough. What was it mainly you was making you happy? Were you in love? No, I don't think so. Not towards the don't end. Don't think so? No. Don't you know whether you were in love <laughs> no, or not? No, I wasn't. <laughs> were you in love originally? Yes. Well, how long did love last? Probably um, about 10, 11 years. And what killed the love? His working constantly and leaving me on my own to bring up the children. Why was he working constantly? Had he fallen out of love with you? I don't know, but I know that he moved in with somebody five months after I left. But do you, and you think he might have had this person before? I don't know, but that's academic anyway. Okay, but do you, what, when he started working and seeing less of you, that's when your relationship started to? Yes. Did you not kind of say, hey, hang on, what's got, this is the man you loved for 10 years that yeah. you've got children by, with? I tried, but it was like, um, I just wasn't getting through. He would go off and do his thing, he would just shut off. I tried lots of different activities, we tried, took up sailing, but he didn't like that, so... Oh, you did, you took up, you initiated this? Yes, I so did. So let's go sailing together, it might bring us back yes. into our marriage. That's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't, I've heard all about the romantic dinners and, and, and the saucy nightwear and all that kind of thing, but sailing, I mean, that's cold and windy. How would that bring you all kind of lovey-dovey together? So you tried sailing and that didn't, that didn't work. work. No, I'm worried, but I'm sure it wouldn't make you cold and miserable. What else did you try? Well, the boys do all sorts of different activities, so they do, um, and we, I tried, to, obviously, to involve him in these activities, and he just... What kind of thing? They did taekwondo for a number of years, um, and then recently, more recently, they've taken up ice hockey, which they've been doing for about four or five years. So what, you tried to go out as a family? Yes. But, which is normal. Yeah. What you'd do anyway. Yeah. But you were making an effort for this. Yes. Um, um, and why didn't it work? Why didn't he go with you to ice to see the boys ice skating or playing rugby or what have you? Because we had dogs and he always made the excuse that he couldn't, do the, he couldn't go with us because he had to walk the dogs. Why didn't you walk the dogs before <laughs> and then you could take it? <laughs> what was the straw that broke the camel's back? It was the youngest child. It was just an off-the-cuff remark. Um, he was playing rugby on the Sunday and we'd taken it in turns. Um, one of us would take one of the children ice hockey training on the Friday and one would take the other one to rugby on the Sunday and it was just on the, on the th Saturday Richard my youngest turned around and said mum can you come with me to I don't rugby. want to rugby I don't want dad to come because he sits in the car and works you stand on the sidelines and shout what oh, really work, what sort of work was he doing he's a sales rep Right. Yeah, I can identify with that one. <laughs> yeah, because my, I mean, my, my wife walked out on me, and it was, uh, I mean, she was out on the road, you know, an awful lot of the time, and that, that was, I, I was basically looking after the children, because I, I worked from home, so it was not a major problem for me to look after the kids, you know. Yeah. But, uh, no, it was, you know, she'd, she'd come home tired and, you know, loads of miles and all the rest of it. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, it wasn't weekends, I have to say, yeah. you know, to be fair. But so you're uh, identifying with her? Up to a point. You're yeah. not supposed to be on her side. <laughs> well, she's, no. the, she's the dumper, you're the dumped. I know, but I... I when you're saying I sympathise, I, I understand, because you, your wife was like her husband. But I understand. I can't, it, it's difficult for me, actually, because I don't, I don't feel um, all that terribly hard done by. I mean, she, in the end, I mean, she had an involvement with somebody else. Um, obviously, somebody that she met subsequently, you know. Um, well, it was her choice. Well, I'm totally the opposite. I mean, oh, my wife right. and I were okay. together 24 <laughs> hours per day. We were never apart. Mm -hmm. And for some reason or other, she just wanted to be by herself. I mean, the only time I went out without her was a Sunday lunchtime when I went across a, a little club we have to play grip. 
other than that, 24 hours per day. Together. You were you were getting on her nerves, obviously. <laughs> 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 my wife says to me, you. <laughs> well, I mean, but I've done all the cooking. You'll, you'll get out a bit. Though. <laughs> <laughs> She's talking to but, you. <laughs> yes. No, but I couldn't really. I mean, I took early retirement because I had a stroke and I had a couple of heart attacks, mm. and I think the pressure got too much for her. Yeah. But, but I also done the cooking, took her out mm. shopping, mm. do everything. Now mm. she's in her own home, what was our house. I'm in my own place. I was round there yesterday, take her out shopping. She helped me <laughs> pick the curtains for the new place that I'm in now, help me furnish it, do everything. But I just cannot understand why women want to be alone. But you get on better now. <clears throat> No. No, you see each other less no, often. No, I, I, I thought he got on all right before. <laughs> I thought he got on perfectly all right before. Yeah, but you're a possessive man, though. Why? Why does he work for 24 hours? Why? Because he wants to... Cause he well, because we work to together. We work together. We work together all the time. And then, when I had to give up work... How long have you been married? Uh, 12 years. And, it, you know, second marriage and, and... People just don't understand the frustration that it is for a man being by himself. One... Things come out. You get called names, first of all. I mean, I've been told you brutalised your wife. <laughs> I mean, and, and I've never done anything. I'm gay, because so, I live by myself. So brutalised your it, wife, it, what do you mean? Well, you know, hit her and done everything. I mean, all the things oh, which come out because, because people yeah, just want to live apart with a man. Right. You know, she wants to have her life. I want to have my life. But why shouldn't she have her life? Well, I, I want her to have she? her life. Why with do him. men? Why do men always think that women can't survive without them? Because it's, it's true. the other way. <laughs> <laughs> It's it is, Gloria. Yeah, but why have you all got men, man. then? <laughs> well, I haven't got a permanent one. Half the problem being... Well, why did you leave, then? Sorry. Because I Sorry, just had enough. You know, I, I was sick of being made to feel as if I was nothing. After 25 you... years mm. of being made to feel that I was down there, and that was it. How I worked all, all my life, I still do, <laughs> to provide everything that we've got. So why couldn't I have a say? In, in my life, and I couldn't because I was answerable to somebody all the time. How do you mean answerable? I couldn't go out unless I had permission. If oh, I was going out and get a babysitter, why? They were his children as well oh, as mine. I don't, don't blame you. I used to have to well, fetch my mother. Well, again, I mean... <laughs> why? Why couldn't mine I go Mine had out? a checkbook. She went you. out, done what she want, bought what she want, she could go wherever she wanted, no. never queried it's anything. My husband was out every single night of the week. Well, I was totally and I was different, and I just... There. This is what I can't understand. I can understand that... A, a, Woman leaving a man if he's got another woman or no, he's got... No, women need the space. They but need to feel that they are citizens, they are people. Mm. They have got a personality of their own. Men take away the personality. Yeah. That's what they do. Oh, no. Women no, are no, taking no, the no, 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 no. Well, come back to you. Come Get out of here. I won't agree with that. No. We've been married 45 years. We've got two, well, two grown-up sons. When it's finished. And... What the, the our way of going on is if you have a problem, you liaise with one another. Talk. You get it sorted yeah, out. Right. You, you, they won't talk. If someone won't talk to you, they, I mean, they always yeah. say there's no problem. As far as this concerned, you're together so long. I mean, when he retired three years ago, I told him straight, I'm not changing my way just because you're going to be at home all day. You told him straight? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. 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 You were getting, oh, yes. You were getting worried about him being under your feet, were you? Exactly. And all of you yeah. see, you women don't understand us men. All us men is like in there, we just want to be with you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. 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 It's like, like this with my wife. If I ring her up now, she says, Boy, you won't leave me alone. Stop we, following we me. Enjoy no, each other's company. No. We enjoy each other's company very much. But Absolutely. if I want right. to go shopping with the girls, I go. But you laid down sure. the rules to me. You said, you know, no, no, it's no, my no, life. No when rules first laid down. Retired, no. I'd say, I'm going into town shopping. Oh, I'll come with you. I says, no, you're not. I'm going with the girls. But so, so you're saying to Gloria, Gloria's behaved like you. Gloria could have handled it. I wanted Gloria to say she was to We talked that was my everything plan. out. I never wanted to get divorced. I worked really hard to make a go of it. And 25 years. There were years. lots of things that went on that I don't want to discuss. But I put up with this. I've got two children that I adored. But and when they started their own life, 
what was I left with? Nothing. Did you talk mm. everything out when you had problems? He, there was not a problem as far as he was concerned. He was a man. If he wanted to go out, why shouldn't he go out? Well, then that, that's, not a, proper, that's not a, po a proper consultation between two people, it is, is it? it yeah. is. You've not had no agreement. But I mean, there and this, have is, to be an agreement. this is primarily what it's all about. There shouldn't have to be any agreements. We're both individual people. We should be able to do what we want to do. Instinctively, you mean? Intuitively. Yes, you yes. shouldn't have to. Yeah, but, oh, but there are times when you, go, when you can't exactly you can't always know what's in the other one's mind. You've got to oh, ask. No, but I mean, we were very good yeah. friends. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we could talk to each other, but he never thought there was a problem. Well, what happens if you can't talk? What happens if you want to talk to your wife? But she won't yeah. don't talk to and you. And she just sits there doing crosswords. And in the end, you talk to the wall. <laughs> no, you do. Yeah, you yeah, talk yeah, to the wall and you say, yeah, yes, like, wall, yeah, yeah, no yeah. wall, what would you like for tea? Yeah. And then there's a giggle from the wife. Yeah. People think, you know, but you, you do... What do you mean a giggle? Well, she sits there... Oh, because she'll stand there talking to the wall. I'll say, yes, wall, what would you like for tea? Now, you, I know she's heard, and she'll... I used to say it's a guilty giggle. That's what I always called it, a guilty giggle. And a duffel bag. And she would, yeah. And, but there's two things. One, love is like a well, really. And women drowning in it. And no. That is not true. Women drowning. People, viewers might not have heard she said, and women drown in it. But you do know. Let's hear, let's hear Derek's view about the well. You, you take stuff out. You know, men keep giving out of this well. And if you don't get anything no. in return, it runs out. Well, but women, on the anything. other hand, Listen. have a duffel bag. <laughs> you know these bags? Yeah. And they get all the problems. When you have an argument, it goes Sorry, in the top. Sorry, you lost me here. No, this is, this is good. And it goes in the top. Yeah. And a month later, it goes in the top. And this bag must be about two mile long. Because out the bottom, when it's full, out the bottom goes... Yeah, you never took me out on the August the 3rd in 1980. You think they did? They stole it, What are you talking about? I now, that. women women can remember mm. this. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Men don't. Yes. No, hang on. No, I was just <laughs> So, no one's no one no one arguing the point, but I'm just saying, you know, I, I think... I, I actually went through a 15-year-old, 15-year ma marriage where my husband would not communicate with me unless it was in his native, native language, which was French. <laughs> I, I spent 15 years trying to build a marriage, look after my kids, do exactly what you're doing, or did do, which was work every single solitary day of my married life. He never worked. He was quite happy with the life that I could give him. He, OK, he took the kiddies to school, and he did the odd bit of washing up, but that's about it. And I, I had a problem where my husband would not communicate with me. And when I would ask him to speak to me and talk to me, I've got nothing to say to you. What do you want me to talk about? Yes, but how did you feel? Awful. It, it destroyed my love, and eventually it destroyed well, it my marriage. But it didn't destroy did my love. love. I just didn't understand. Did you love each other? I just did for not about, understand. For about nine years, yes, I would say that I did love my husband. But there comes a time when... Were you friends when... with him? No. All right. All right. No, no, I wasn't friends with him because he... That's, that's a seminal point. Isn't no, no, yeah, no, on, because my husband said, what do I want to be friends for? Because he's my husband. He didn't oh, need no, to no, be my no, friend. No, that was the <laughs> final blow that said, that was it, I've had Sorry, enough, you've, you've I'm going to have You must have You must have You've got to be, you got to be friends. He wouldn't you? say, <laughs> why do I want to... If you've got... He's married you, he must find something interesting about you. Yeah, he, he must likes the life that I could give him. He didn't... I don't think my ex-husband loved me. I think he loved the life that I could give him. Yeah. What, what kind of... Because of my kids. Solely because of my kiddies. And when that motivation ran out, that is when I decided to move yeah, and say that was enough. Communication with your husband, I, I didn't have none with mine. No. If I wanted to talk, I might store a problem and then want to pour it all out, let's discuss this. Mm. And all I'd get off of him is, oh, here we go again. Off he'd go out. Oh, and sounds I'm like you were nagging it. then. Well, that is basically a in the duffel bag, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? We've got something to say. We want to be heard. 
Listen to us, so disgusting do men. I mean, why don't you share each other's problems? Yeah, why is it if a man says something, say, oh, I ain't had a good day, the woman say, so have I. What do you, you know, I, I've had a bad day. I'll what about tell me? You what my well, wife why don't she so tell good. me about her and then say, and then I tell her about hers and then. Be cheerful about I it. Told instead, my of, instead of going to arguments straight away before you get off the ground, it, before you tr you come in nice and relaxed, and next minute, within seconds, you're going to each other's throat, and you've only asked for a sort of pat on the back. My well, husband why used to come and say, "Don't the women dad, remember but... all the bad things in life? Duffel bag. But never <laughs> remember <laughs> the good. <laughs> well, another duffel bag. No, it's another duffel bag. Do, uh, I mean, Tell if you're eighty percent or nine percent of a good marriage and ten percent bad. You, you, you're in trouble because you're going to get a divorce because that ten percent is life, but they can't accept it. Why don't? Why is a woman? Why don't you get compliments? Why is a woman like a man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, 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 why are men more adaptable? Well, why don't you why, marry men? Why, 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 well, if I was gay, I'd need to have a choice. That's right. <laughs> well, I've got an answer for that. If I was gay, it'd be nice because I could have a choice, but I'm all man. He's all man. <laughs> You yeah. said you want. I've gone. No, for it, just, just I'm still cheerful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can no. still have a joke with you. Came yeah. home from work yeah, one day I and I said to him, "I've got a phone call today. I've got to go into a hospital know. tomorrow for a heart bypass." He mm. said to you. Yeah. No, you I said, said to you him. You said to him. Owen. No difference to having a tooth oh, pulled. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> no. He should have given you a lot What, Alan, were you married for? Eleven years. And what was the? What, why were you? Were you happy? Uh, partially, it was. Basically, I suppose a lot of it was, I was looking for companionship. My kids had all grown oh, up. Yeah. And he'd never been married, and we just sort of gelled for a while. But I think he was looking for another mum. Why? Mm. Yes. Um, well, I was good for supplying. I was. He'd been a confirmed bachelor. Mum had always been there. Oh right. I died my mother-in-law. There isn't a woman breathing. Better than her. So how how old was he when he got married to you? For the um, forty, forty six. I was five years older. And this was his first marriage. Did you know that when you first married him? Did you did you think that he was looking for a mother figure? No, or I didn't did you think, think that I was. He, loved you? he was looking for a mother figure. I knew he was a bit of an untidy slob. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't get that, <laughs> <laughs> but you always think, well, I can train him to... Oh! oh. 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 Brother, he was one who dropped done. his dirty undies on the floor. Oh. They're there for you to pick oh. up. Oh. Oh. My health oh. deteriorated oh. rapidly. Oh. I wasn't going to kill myself for no. him. No. no, but you did say you think you can train him. Yeah, well, you, we all think this, the don't we? I you, don't know, do you? Yeah, a dog that won't do as it's time. I, I didn't think I could train my wife. Yeah. Did you think you could train yeah. your wife? But to yeah, the end, so, so, so. to take on it, that, exactly right. And you each, you, you learn lots didn't. of things. But he did He went totally the opposite way. He just ate yourself until he nearly burst. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you do? Did you just kind of get up and go? No, I didn't have to. Why? He burst. And neither did he. <laughs> what happened? He, he sat there till the house was sold, even through the divorce. Oh. But you, oh, he moved out with the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> well, you told you you had the you initiated uh, yeah. the divorce. What did you say to him? Well, I had enough. I'm not going to be your mother anymore. Or no, what? I just he said to me. Funnily enough, he'd been unemployed, and he said, "Oh, I've just had some good news." Got a job to start tomorrow. I said, well, I'll, I'll give you the bad news. Is there anybody else in you? Oh, right. Oh, is that what you did? Just yeah. like that? Yeah. Was there anybody else? Right. No. <laughs> there wasn't anybody else? There still isn't. On your side? No. Are you, or is. Are you looking for a man? Why are you offering? <laughs> 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 it's all right. I'm looking at you, Gloria. But does it make it any easier if there is somebody else? No, not does at all. Does it make it easier, Linda, if there's somebody else? I think it gives you the final push to go. But I think in the long run, I'd always say leave because you want to leave, not because there's somebody yeah. else involved. Well, but, you, but, you, but it did give you the final pull rather than push. Yes, yeah. What, what yeah. happened then? Um, I left my husband for another man. Um, my husband... How long had you been married? We'd been married for 18 years. And you'd got how many children? And I've got two children. And what ages? Um, my son Russell, 19, and my daughter, 30. At the time when you... Did you tell the kids no. with you? Um, well, that, that's another story, really. Right. Um, <laughs> this was about... This was three years ago this happened. Right, so they were 16 and...? Uh, 16 and 9. Right. Yes, and... Um, 
my husband really and I both decided we weren't getting enough out of our relationship and we decided what to... What does that mean? Um, I don't think we gelled together as much as we should have done. I mean, you were he... in love to begin with, presumably? Oh, yes, and uh, he, he played his sport at weekends, busy at work. Was the physical again. aspect sort of OK? Oh, yes, to start with, yes, yes. Mm. I mean, things were fine to start with, but I think... Um, the hours of work involved, again, um, this does make a difference. Um, the fact that I think sometimes men think because they, they've been to work, they've done their bit, really. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. the money. You can get on with what, you know. Yeah, do. but I had, it exactly, but, but that's I, not fair. I had exactly the opposite the other way around, you know. Mm. My wife was out of work because I was at home looking after the kids. Mm. You know, and it was just the same. So men and women, it, it, it's, it's not a yeah. sexist thing, you know. It, it's, mm. it's, people see work as a... As a you know, I've done my bit. You know what I mean? And yeah, but go, going going back to your, your so you you weren't you started not to gel. Yes. Which yes. is a strange way of putting it. Meaning yeah. you started not being friends, not having common interests, not wanting to be together, not wanting to be one in the same room. No, Did you we've row? Always, we, we've never rowed. Oh really? No. We, so you just got rowed. bored. I think probably a lot of it was bored. Oh brilliant! Really. So you just break up your marriage because you get bored. No, Not all think, marriages. Think Hang on, Steve. I'm <laughs> trying to put Linda on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> You've let her off the spot Let's twice. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, but I just think, really, it would have been better for me to leave because I wanted to leave rather than get involved with somebody else. But, but, but what was wrong? Ge not gelling is is what. You got think... you got kids, you got a marriage, and somebody was saying up there and a thing here as well. You got to talk, you got to work at it, what have you. You're saying in effect, I, I wasn't being uh, trying to be rude, but I was trying to be provocative, mm. perhaps. But you, in a, in a say, what you're saying to me, I got bored with my relationship and I wanted to get out of it. That's what the message is coming across. Mm. Is that correct? I don't. Yes, I don't think we worked at it hard enough to be Why? honest. I think it could have been. A very good marriage because we've got a very good relationship now. Well, why didn't you work at it then? Um, I don't know. Okay, okay. this is not a right. I think you can't. Think she is she saying she's got she's loved it. Goes, she's, doesn't it? Oh, no, it doesn't. It does. It, it does. Well, it doesn't mind. Well, it doesn't have to go. At, no, but if they keep chipping away at it, of eventually course, yeah, it goes yeah, yeah, and you yeah. think but there's you more to, to life, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You've only got one life. You, you don't get a second chance. No. But you, so you have to go and Yeah, okay, so you weren't yelling, you were bored, uh, bored or whatever it was. You weren't in the same situation as Gloria, who was being humiliated and all the rest of it, she says, and having to ask permission to do things. You weren't like that. That. You were, she, she must have been deeply unhappy. I was, yes. Right, mm. and miserable. Oh, oh, you weren't deeply unhappy. No, I'd got a lot of freedom. Right, but the fact that is that you met somebody else too. I did meet somebody else, I have. yes. Um, it was through my husband's business I met somebody, and um, my husband and I decided that things weren't uh, very good between us, and we'd call it a day. And then it was after that time I got involved with, a, with this other person. Was it? Um, he was a friend of my husband as well as, you know, we, we were all friends. We didn't see each other socially, but, but we did, we were friends. He was friends with this. Uh, and you, you, but it was the champagne, wasn't it? Pardon? Wasn't it the champagne? <laughs> That's another story. Oh, I know. I know, I know the story. I know, you know the story. <laughs> Tell me the story. No, I, I, I had to make a few phone calls connected with business because I was helping my husband out. And um, I phoned a certain gentleman who, who was quite upset about a relationship that had just gone wrong. And out of concern, I went over to see him and... We started talking. A shoulder and, for him to cry on. Yes, and it, and it was a shoulder really for both of us. We, we cried on each other's shoulders really and got talking a, a lot about each other's relationships and, and we had a very nice evening just <laughs> talking. Just you opened talking. a bottle of champagne? Yes. And that, you, that was the straw though, wasn't it, for you? This was the, this was the, Leslie, it was the rugby match. And uh, yes, son saying, this... Dad doesn't get out and run up and down the touchline and cheer us on. <laughs> and only Mum, no, that, that's it. And you realise there's a different mm -hmm. thing happening. Mm -hmm. For you, it was having champagne, having a nice evening and suddenly realising... Being able to talk as being well. Being able to talk. That, like, to somebody. Is that a good reason for giving up, that there's somebody else involved? Oh, I've been 39 years with it. Hmm? I went 39 years without talking. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was a wartime marriage, 
and we had a week honeymoon. I got pregnant then, and he was shipped overseas. I never saw him till I was, he was uh, 18 months, the child was 18 months. And when he came home, he took an instant dislike to him. And um, whether it was jealousy or what, I don't know. But from that moment, we lived together for all these years, me having his children having and me? going out to work to keep them because he wouldn't give me the money to keep them. At that time, I was getting about £10 housekeeping money to cope with. So I got myself a job and eventually earned double what he was getting. So I was feeding, clothing, taking them on holiday, giving them the spending money. And as they grew up, I kept telling them, when the last one gets married and gets their own house... How many kids did you have? It's my turn. Five. Five. I know all the time. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, well, hang on. What are you saying? You not? What are you all? Yeah. What are you saying? What? Yeah. Do you know what? I can't even. Hang on. We've got to find out. So what did you say? I said all the time she didn't talk. All the time I didn't talk. <laughs> well, you don't have to talk. What did you say, Derek? Shout. Just shout. I said you must have spoke five times. Yeah, just... <laughs> They're all, they're all amused that you never talked to this man, but you had five children. I'm talking about conversations. Conversations. You know. <laughs> he, he would come home, sit and watch the television, yeah. and uh, at the night time he used to wash his face and his knees and go out and do his scout boys, you know. <laughs> face so, and his what? His knees. His knees? He had socks up to there <laughs> and his shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and he was in the scouts! <laughs> Yes, she was. What was his scout leader? He had his scout leader. No, hang on, I'm going to... So, so he's got his big boots, right, and his big socks, don't they? Because she had that thingy with the, with the what's name on the side. I can't know how they call it. The tassel. Yeah. And then you've got the shorts that like, come down to there. That's right. it. And his shirt with his toggle. And his shirt with his cockle. Cock, what the cockle? Toggle. Yeah. Goggle. Toggle. Do you remember this? Right? Yeah. But hang on, right. You've got the big... No, no, I want about the knees. So what would he do? How would he just wash his knees? Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> Really? How? <laughs> How? He never had a bath. She never had a bath. Wash his knees. Yeah. But he kind of put him in the bath like that. Yeah. I don't feel like Barry Moore doing that. Yeah. Did he, well, did he, well, or did he get a flannel? Or... Sink with a flannel, yeah. Stand in the sink? No, bath. With a flannel? Yeah. Go round his knees? That's it, yeah. You're serious? Yeah. I'm Didn't really he get serious. time marks? No. What if he's sink, would you? You couldn't see. Yeah. 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 Next day, he'd have his trousers on, so who would notice? And he never had a bath. And the trousers he used to wear until they frayed down the bottom. He never used to take them off. But well, it did when you had a kid. job to get. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I could fall for a child was if he we went out to a wedding or an engagement party and I got sloshed. And he'd come home and. He'd so, Next, yeah, did you hear what she I said? The only time she could fall for a child was when you went to a wedding or an engagement <laughs> and you got sloshed. So, so <laughs> you must have thought, <laughs> when you got an invite to your wedding or another. There's another kid on the way here. Yeah. I mean, you could book the Chris thing and everything by the wedding. Yeah. What about funerals? <laughs> I never went to funerals. Oh, you never went to funerals? No. Yeah, I've completely lost track of what we're talking about. Yeah, so am I. This man you wouldn't talk to, you, though. He must have been a bundle of fun. He was, he was a bore, an absolute a... bore. And as the kids got older, uh, they all got married and outfit, you know, got their own places. And the last one, she left the house to go and live with one of the other daughters until she got married. And... Then it was my turn, and I was walking through the town one day, and I thought, sod it, I'm going to get a divorce. <laughs> really? Well, just like that? I'm going to yeah. get a divorce? Yeah. I just went upstairs, and I said, I want a divorce. Just like Mrs Mother up there? He said, um, well, actually, I asked for a separation, you see. And he said, no, you don't want a separation. You've been married too long, you know. Who said this to the solicitor? The solicitor. Yeah. So he said, I I'll get you a divorce. I said, I can't afford a divorce. So he said, oh, yes, you can. I'll do it on legal aid. Yeah. It won't cost you nothing. So I went on legal aid and I got me divorce. And halfway through it, when I got me uh, decree now I saw, I went and joined a singles club. 
and I met this George, lovely bloke. Tall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Really? He was clean, smart. Washed everything and left his knees dirty. That's the last. Anyway, yeah. Uh, that was quick. Yeah. <laughs> and they say now, why did I stay with a man like that? Shall I tell you? Because I was brought up in a horrible children's home myself when my parents split up. And I said, no way would I ever let my children go through the life that I had. So I stuck by them. And when the last one left, I left. So you stayed to the... <laughs> So what, what you're saying, Ellen, is that you did what we're all supposed to do. You took your vows seriously, but more I importantly, did, yeah. you took the, the welfare of your kids seriously. Yeah. And you saw your responsibilities... I was your... very religiously, oh, yeah. and those vows I stuck by. Yeah. But that was the reason why. And how long were you married before you got this divorce? 39 years. 39 years. Yeah. And all that, most of that time you say you were unhappy. I was, yeah. And most of that time you'd rather have been somewhere else. Well, I'd sooner have taken a, um, a vocation of some sort, you know? Right, you'd rather have, what, a career or something. Mm, but you yeah. think, OK, in that sense, because I suspect that... Do you mind me asking how old you are? Yeah, I'm 76 this year. OK, I suspect there's a lot of women of your age who were in that position because of the different social circumstances. At, at, at your age, uh, at your generation, marriage wasn't a commodity like it is now, which is kind of disposable, a relationship in and out of it. A lot of people felt, for all, rightly and wrongly, that it was something you had to work out together. And you, had to, you made your bed and lie on it. Yeah. And particularly if there's kids involved, <laughs> you had to go through with it and stick it out. But there must have been lots of women who felt unfulfilled you had, you, like you, clearly, because you wanted to do something else, you could have had a vacation, mm. who, who were, must have been very miserable, and perhaps men too, because yeah. obviously must, men must have been in the same situation, and went to work, didn't talk, because they were bored too. Perhaps we're only hearing one side mm. of the story here, but perhaps they were bored, perhaps they were unhappy, but perhaps they think they can't get out of it because they've got responsibilities, and they've got to go to work and put the bread That's on it. the table and all the yeah. rest of it. But what I was getting to is, I'm sorry I'm being long-winded, do you feel really bitter and resentful now that you've wasted 39 years yes, of your... Yes, I do, yeah. You, OK. Oh, no, I've got my children now. Now, I was coming to that, and I know mm. Shelley's next to you, um, and you've got your children, but you say you did it for the children. In a way, you put your... If you didn't throw away your life, you certainly put a large part of it on hold for their sake. Yeah. And I'm not suggesting you should feel this, but do you feel any kind of resentment towards them because of it? Not my children, no. No, you don't? No. You did the right no. thing? No. Did you do the right thing? They didn't ask to come, did they? No. Do you, I'm asking you, do you, did you, in your terms, do you think you did the right thing? Yes, I do. Great. Fine. Then nobody can argue with you, can they? What about, why do women stay? She stayed for the sake of the kids, Debbie. <coughs> if you're in an unhappy relationship, marriage, mm -hmm. why do you stay? I stayed because... Um, well, my husband was having an affair, and he had an affair after being sort of two years into the marriage. And I knew about it, but sometimes I knew about it, and then he denied it and things, and, and that. And I stayed because he sort of bought me out. Whenever I got to the nissy grissy, I'd get something materialistic, and I stayed. How long did you stay for? Um, married him in 1980 and divorced in 96. So you stayed 16 years? Yeah. You have children? Yeah, three days. <coughs> so, what you, and all that time you were at for six, 14 of those years, you were unhappy? Yeah. How would you describe your unhappiness? I mean, the Gloria sitting alongside you says miserable, I think. I was miserable, miserable yeah. Mm. yeah. You were I miserable? Should I should never have got married. Why? Not to him, anyway. Why? Um, I met him and I thought he was great. When I first met him, I really did think he was great. My mum had just died. I was working in London. I was working my notice to come to Saudi. And um, I came back to Liverpool to, because my mum had, had been in an accident and I met him then. And I thought he was great and he cheered me up. Obviously, my mum had died and things. And um, I was working my notice, but I stayed in Liverpool. And then we got engaged and I still felt I needed to go to Saudi. So I went after I got engaged because I needed to get that out of my system. And we kept in touch daily on the phone by letter. And it, I just thought he was the person for me. Uh, he had ambition. 
he knew what he wanted, he knew that the things that I wanted in life was the same. But when I got off the train at Lime Street coming back, I thought, I'll get back on the train and go. But I carried on walking towards him and I thought, oh, Hang on, what was it you did in Li Lime Street or the man? <laughs> <laughs> Lime Street. Because <laughs> Lime Street can be very depressing here. It's a rainy, cloudy, miserable yeah, day. And it was, and it was, and I was all suntanned and... No, I looked and I thought, no, I shouldn't be doing this. And but then why did you? I was going to say, why did why you Why did you? Me? You're an independent free spirit. Yeah, yeah. and why? then, well, we started to go out again then, and then we went to look at a house and things, and I thought, yeah, I can do this. So I'll you were after material and... stuff? Not at the time then, no. He did have ambition, and, and it was great when we started to go out, and uh, we but were good friends. you like the house? I loved the house. We went to work. I was on days, day shifts, and he was working and things, and he was in an office, and then he was a salesman, and... Mm -hmm. Then he started to work away, mm. and then I got pregnant. And the ideal thing to do was for me to go on night duty at weekends while he worked away in the week. So we were like passing ships, and we stopped talking, we stopped becoming friends. And but you stayed because he showered you with gifts? Not at the, t not at the very beginning, no. I, I stayed because I thought I loved him, and I thought he could provide me, and I could provide him with what we both wanted. And I lost my self-esteem then. This confident person that lived in London and had a ball and knew what she wanted slowly got worn down. And I don't think he he did that on purpose. I don't think... Oh, worn down? What was, what was he like? Why? To... You were telling us you were getting gifts. What, how do you mean worn down? You, in, you're saying this glory you say, that expression. Yeah, I would say um, you're seeing somebody and he would yeah. say, no, I'm not. And then I'd go... I'd smell perfume on a seatbelt of the car. What, and what's he like as a person? You know. But why did you believe him? Because I'd go back and smell the car and it'd be gone. But years later, I found out he'd gone and have the car valeted. And I'd go to right. the doctors and I'd say to the doctor, <clears throat> I'm accusing him of all these things. And it was, oh, it's your hormones, dear. You're pregnant. You do think these things. You feel insecure. That's everybody's answer, isn't it? I mean, what, 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 Another woman. Yeah. yeah, and then yes. I did find out, and I took him back because he Something promised me. How long? He how long do was it again. before you found out properly that, that he was seen? Um, eight years ago. How did you find out? I just um, phoned up his boss. Oh, what? <coughs> how do you mean you phoned up his boss? Sorry. I phoned up his, I phoned up his what, boss. Why was he the boss? What? No, <laughs> I phoned up his boss, who I knew as a friend, and just said, "Is this still carrying on?" Is he still carrying on? Right. Yeah. And his boss said yes. And he said yeah. And his boss was under the assumption that we were divorced. And oh, he was right. leading a double life. Cunning oh. women, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so, and that, that's yeah. when you... That led to the divorce. You, you divorced you, him. You, but you you're asking him why... Away, then. No. You didn't, even when you found out that he was definitely friends, having an affair? No, friends told me to get rid of him. His mum told no, me to get rid of him. No, you hold on. Hang on. And I said no, and... Hang on, yeah. no, please. Everything had a double side. Now, if you had said to me the same story, I'd have said, oh, for God's sake, can't you see what he's After doing? After all the warning signs. After all the warning signs. But when you smell a car seatbelt and then it's gone, where's the smell gone? It was so strong. I didn't know he'd had the car valeted. The doctor tells me, you're pregnant, dear. It's because you're not feeling sexy and womanly. It's your hormones. Yeah, but things. was it just the the, the seatbelt, or was like no, I said, was there, there was, was there a few? Smell of the same perfume on the arm, and I think it's where he's had his arm round her neck here. But then it was, oh, I did. I put my arm round the secretary, and I gave her a hug. I thought, well, that could be true. And then the four-year-old child said, we've been to um, Daddy's friends, and he wasn't there. And I'd say, well, where was he? Oh, he'd gone to play football. I travelled all the way to Yorkshire, and he'd gone to play football. So we had a cup of coffee to see if he'd come back. And my little boy said I'd played with this little girl. And he was with this woman. But when you heard two stories, and he would say, oh, yeah, we've been there. And I thought, he wouldn't openly admit he's been with this woman. He's been at a friend's house. And, um, but you knew it. You're saying you knew. I did eventually know, yeah. But I at the time you knew, but you didn't want to know. Yes. You, were you in denial? That's, that's the way it works, isn't it? I, mean, it's, I don't... At the, at the very, very beginning, I believed him, and he said it was all in my head. I believed him, and then I eventually met her. So yeah, but what happened when you when you phoned up his boss and his boss said yes? So you, he said, "Did I you thought, confront? Did you yeah, confront he your said, husband?" I thought you were divorced. 
But what did your did you confront your husband you never, with yeah. it? And what did he and say? What did he did he say? Deny it? And he just said, I didn't say we were divorced. Um, oh, he didn't no. deny that he was. No, he he said woman. he was seeing someone. Yeah. 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 So, well, 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 he admitted years. it then. Oh right, well, yeah. something anyway. Did you go back with it? Did you carry yeah. on the marriage? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he said... You do, you try well, kind of yeah. hey, hang on, hang on. I can't and... understand a woman staying with a man when he's he's so unfaithful to her all the time. But you do. I'd just yeah. smack him in the mouth. <laughs> 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 That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they get on really well. <laughs> it's it's quite it's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I think that possibly you've got to court someone. <laughs> I mean, we were caught for four years before we got married, so we knew each other very, very well. But you do, you find you out when you're compatible. No, but then, I mean, it's, it's lovely with you two how you are, but unfortunately, but not she's all relationships in the mouth. are <laughs> like that. And, I've and never had a doubt about him no, in all 45 years. Well, let's be honest, say some it men, you can, you can have a problem. I mean, this man was going on about a well and a, and a duffel bag. Yeah. Well, with, with a man, no, but with a man, if they want to talk, it's a discussion. When a woman wants to talk, they're nagging. nagging. And yeah, that is across the board. And if a man does not want to have a discussion, you cannot make them. I'm but the, hardest, make them. the hardest thing being that men get talked down to by a lot of women. No, but then you oh, know, they objects to a lot of men they just become an object and that object is to be in the house to take but care of the children. But women always want to, to change the man to become a servant no. and to do exactly what you want to do. Why can't men carry on courting their that? wives? Exactly and this is what the, I'm saying. What they need to become a wife we're an object no. we're not the girl they want to marry anymore. What happens we're if, there. What happens if you still want to do it but the lady doesn't? Then you're not doing it properly. <laughs> <laughs> but if the lady doesn't not, say anything no, to you you don't know what you... In the beginning, something Men must have been lost. Men can never understand a woman. No, I'll tell you that now. No, and I totally agree. And it's agree. very hard for a man. Do you see that's true? Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's very hard. Sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, 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 sometimes a, man, a man will just not look. If you bring in a bunch of flowers, look. if you go out and you're out shopping and you bring in a bunch of flowers... Did you tell me to be quiet? Oh, you to be... Oh, she told you to be quiet! I thought she was telling me. But then that's obviously because they associate with that bunch of flowers to a bunch of flowers you bought before when you did do something wrong. Like but, but what happens if you've never done anything wrong? Oh, well... Can you tell I, I, I don't believe, believe, that. That. I don't believe, I don't believe that. That, that some people can be that perfect. Oh. I'm sorry. Can you well, tell I'll tell you, you honestly and truthfully, I, barring my sister, my mum, so and uh, me, me grandkids, I've never kissed another woman since the day I married my wife. Oh, you don't know I've never been out with another woman. <laughs> Man, and he's saying that he's never kissed anybody but uh, his mum, his daughter, same. and his, his <laughs> wife. And you're saying, Yes, but you put an S in front of mothered. And what Smothered. have you got? Yeah. Yeah. And that is what I think he was doing to his wife. Yeah. He was doing everything cooking, yeah. cleaning. Mm. Too much of a good thing, isn't it? I mean, I'm going to ask you a oh, You can't win, can't can win you? Can you? You see? Can I ask him a very sounds... personal question? Like, did you bark? <laughs> Because you sound as though you did and everything you But they, but they wanted to bath and they're likely to scrub their bath. Yeah, well, he did. My, what, what, what's wrong with bathing? Nothing wrong with bath. My wife likes me to go and scrub her bath, no. back in the bath. Well, that's right, that's probably why. Yeah, but she it's says wrong it. wrong with it at all. But, but how do you know? Listen. Because I have this, I have this problem. My wife says I smother her. I, my wife says I'm always all over her and but, chasing her around the house and leave me alone. There's just too much of you, but maybe and you're you always it talking and you never way. stop. So, and she wants me to to rush her back in the what's her name in the bath. And, <laughs> and then she, talking, so, how do you know where you draw the line then? When should I stop talking? But they say they told you. <laughs> You're doing it talking, that's all right. Mm, he did right. it with not talking. No, you can't. They didn't have too much. If somebody's on the case. Come around here, yeah. come over here. She's going to sort I you mean, out this one. At the end, we didn't talk. I mean, before that, we talked all the time. But, like, I'm trying, just trying to find out, cos I... Sorry. I, I don't know. Ellen likes you being here, don't you, Ellen? Women want men to do things for them. So you do them. And if you enjoy doing it, you feel good because you're helping your wife. Yeah, but sometimes it can be too much. Somebody yeah. on your yeah, but, but case why, all the time. Why, why, why then don't women say? Well, we 
I don't like that. Hang on, please, please. Well, well maybe she... I'm, I certainly like would. When you. somebody's on my case and I don't like it, they what know you mean, that. Your case you're... is trying to be nice. No, 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 no we can get too to much of that. get too much. I would have liked the chance. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, I would have loved the companionship. It, it, but uh, I never got it. This is what I find the hardest thing and the most frustrated about everything. I always thought that I was doing right, and I thought I was being kind and gentle and oh, lovely. okay. I mean, we did. You do have your little tiffs and you have your arguments and there's things which you don't like. Oh, so but I genuinely so. thought I Just when I was doing things which was going to help. Yeah. The marriage. Well, if anyone when, had when put no mouth one, in for me, yeah. I'd have been only two. But when no one says anything to you <laughs> that you're not doing it wrong you automatically presume you're doing it right. Change seats. Just sit there so I can see you. That, right. that way. Yeah. Sorry. Turn around this way. Sorry. Are you, uh, how old are you? 56. Are you looking for a woman? Uh, uh, hang on, girls. Stand up. <laughs> Stand up hang on, girls. I, believe it or not, I spoke to my wife about it yesterday. Well, you, this is, no, hang on. Are you, yeah, this is what I was on. Ex-wife? No, because we're still not legally married. Oh, but she's we, left we just, you. We just live in two separate places. Oh, she I lives see. in what we, where we used to But live. she's separated from yeah, you. Yeah, and I live in my own place. Oh, right, so you can't and, uh, be looking there. Well, we've just never bothered no. at the moment. Well, uh, but you'd like yes, to be in I a nice like, relationship. I would like female companionship. You'd like to be in a nice relationship. And I mean, and I turned around to her and I said, look, I don't wish to be celibate for the rest of my life. What do you want me to do? Go on blonde date. And she said, eh. <laughs> she said, <laughs> what, is that where you got I your fella? I went fella? up for it. I went to you, the You're up for it, Sarah. I got nowhere. You're, you're 76, but you're still up for it. Hang on, hang on. No, She's 70. Found, she found her man in the paper. Oh, you found your yeah, man? Yeah, I found the third one in the paper. <laughs> the second one died after 13 and a half years. And so I got matchmakers in our local paper. Yeah. And you so when you've dumped somebody, when you've left somebody, as you did after 30 something years, yeah. you still want to find somebody else. Oh, yeah. And you did. <laughs> <laughs> don't you shake it. Why? <laughs> and shit, and you, and no, you don't. You stay oh. there. <laughs> what, why? Why did you do that? When you've put up with it once, I mean, you're not a glutton for punishment. Well, I wanted somebody that was completely opposite, and I've got him. Why didn't you? No. Why? Um, having been through it once, I wasn't going to go through it all again. What did you go through once? I mean, you, you go through the business of trying to train one once, and you don't get very far with it. Are you all right? See, train. See, I told, I got another one. See, this is another train. trainer. Oh, Women, you forgot duffel bags. Women are trainers. Yes, I just said. What do you, you mean, train? Try and change them. Work that out. Oh, Why do you want to change them? You tell her. Tell her. I can't understand. The person that you met and you actually liked, why, why, why do you go out and change him? He must have changed. Well, because he changed. He changed. You oh, left what you do is you get over. No, she wants you to change. You wanted to train him, train him. She said she wanted to train him. She did say train him. How long were you married for before you failed to train him when you left? <laughs> failed to train him about two days. Left a great many years. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you with him? Um, we're still married. We still communicate. How old are you? I'm 50. Well, the woman should be younger than the man. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You, my wife's older than me. Wouldn't you like somebody who looked... Would you, he's he's trainable. Would you like to train him? You can do my job, Ellen. I don't want training. No, Hang on, Derek. No? No, I don't, I, don't want anybody, want... I don't want anybody else around, no. I want to be able to get on with my life. You don't want a man around at all? For far too long, I had to live somebody else's agenda. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to have to do that again. Can you understand that? I want to be able to come yeah. home when I oh, want to. I, like I want to be able to do the things that I need to do, the things that I put on hold for so many years. What kind of things? Studying, um, being able to go out in the evening. But can't you do that? Can't you study, go out in the evening with, with a partner, with a friend, a companion, a lover? Yeah. All of those <laughs> things I'm talking about. I'll tell you what. I need, well, you tell well, her. I so am now an honoured... Uh, member of the Literary Society Poets, because I started writing poetry at my age. Because of your love? And I got three uh, certificates for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you were saying yes, you could understand her when she said she doesn't want to find anybody. She's yes, got... I can. Why? Yeah, I, I was married for 26 years. I, well, I left my husband after 26 years. My son was 21, my daughter was 19. I hadn't worked for that amount of time and I was 50. But I found a job. I found a young man that I thought I loved 
and it lasted for a few years. We're still friends, we talk still. Uh, but I have a life of my own now. I worked, I went, I did catering for five years for a living. Eventually I worked for a local building society in the lending department. And I have a wonderful life now of my own. And you don't need a man or you don't want a man? Um, it would be nice to have a man to come home to at yeah. times. Yeah. It would be really nice to have someone to come home to. But I'm a very independent person now. And I think after such a long time, you, you, you get it set in, in your ways. So, Do you find yeah. that, I mean, like myself, if I don't go out the door, I could spend two or three days in a place and I talk. I mean, if the phone rings, I'll say, to the oh, wall. the phone's ringing. Yeah, yeah. He's to talking the to the wall again, yeah. yeah. Do you need, do you, you're saying yes to say? I am, yes. You can spend a long time on your own. And I've got a cook a teal. You like cockatiel. I've got two. I, I'm I breeding now, by the way. I've got oh, two in the nest yesterday. Nice in the is, snow as well. Nice is good morning, gorgeous. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> I've told you everything I want to know. How long were you married? I was married the first time for 17 years. I was on my own for seven years. And I married again in 1990. How old were you then? Uh, I was 55 then. See? Mm. Can be done. Yeah, go I'm on. I'm now 63. Yeah. And I realised after two years it was difficult. This, the last marriage? Yes, but we got over that. We, we sorted things out. Um, <clears throat> I thought it had been sorted out. But then it came back and hit me. The situation hit me again. And I really... I, I was... I didn't leave the first time because I was too ashamed to tell my children I'd made a mistake. I couldn't tell them I want to come home to you because I had nowhere else to go. Um, in the end, it was my daughter who came and said, you can't, you know, you're coming home with us. I was waiting for having a new hip, so I went into hospital from one address and went out to another one. And I have never regretted it. We talk occasionally. We have seen each other. Just like then. there, you got you have a relationship now with your ex-partner. No, 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 no. Oh, you no, don't. No, no. no. We met you... at Christmas over a Christmas card. <laughs> but you wouldn't in, get married again, or meet no, you're not no, looking for somebody. No. You don't want someone. What about I you, think, Sue? I think the trouble I is, don't you, think who, I would do get married again. who do you that trust? Who do you trust? Who do you trust? I, I won't. I, I very much doubt if I'll get married again. That's not necessarily saying that I won't have any relationships. Mm. I just don't want to go through the marriage thing no, because it's too painful. That's the barrier. Well, well, I mean, that's the barrier. Sorry. Because you've been hurt. I mean, I've been there myself, very yeah. hurt. Um, you but do it's, feel it's, like like it's that. painful for everybody concerned. Yeah. It's painful for me. It it's it's painful for my children. It's yeah, painful for right. me. And everyone, yeah. including family and whatever else. But I think it's that a, a stigma that why do you have to want to get married again mm. to another. But you might feel like that now. I felt like that. I, I was married nearly 25 years and yeah. we split up three years ago. Um, since that time, I've had two short term relationships and I thank God for them. Mm. I met two very nice men who were very supportive of me when my husband never had been and I'd been quite ill and the first guy I met, he was the one sitting holding my hand where my husband should have been and he never wanted to know. Um, for the last eight months I've been on my own because I needed to take stock of my life mm. and my situation. I feel I've come through that and I'd love to meet someone. I've got a lot of love in me. I've got yeah. lots to give somebody. Um, and I'd love to love somebody again. I'd love them to love me. When I go home of the night, yeah, I'm totally independent. I'm a professional woman. I've got a career. I studied quite hard whilst I was still married to get on with my life because I got sick of getting told I was stupid and I wanted to prove to everyone I wasn't. So I've done very well for myself. But I still get very lonely. And sometimes when I close the door after I've been out down the pub, having a rock around with a very good band I follow, I go home, I'm on my own, and I'd love a man to put his arms around me. Is that what you want? Do you want that, Betty? No. No? I don't want to open it. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Ah. Once bitten, twice shy. <laughs> Is that how you feel? I feel? A little bit like that. How yeah. long were you married for? 32 years. And what made you get up and walk out? I think um, it was the realisation of waking up one day and thinking that you've been taken for granted just that little once too often. <laughs> Is that how you felt that you were being taken for granted? Yes. But you were, were, you, were you conscious that you'd been unhappy all that time? No, uh, to be honest, it was about two years before we split up that I, I thought I'd got to get out of this. My, my ex-husband says that 
I would be thinking about things when other people were sleeping, and he reckons that was all the fault of it. It was all my fault that's for good. doing that. But that's what they think. But you were, you were, you made the right decision. Oh yes. Yeah. But you don't want another man. No. How no, old are you? Do you mind me asking? How old are you? I'm 59 now in August. I, but you don't think you're, you're going to not go for the rest of your life without a man. I don't care. I, to Can be you believe that, Debbie? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> what, do you, what it is, do you, like you, I, after I've all what you've been through, are you yeah, still looking? I've been bitten, swallowed and spat out, but I still want a relationship. No. You want a new one? Yeah. You take the risk. Anyone around, yeah. Oh! <laughs> there you go. Is there anybody around? No. Debbie here, she's, yeah. she's offering. Marriage is important, isn't it? Of course it is. Any relationship's important. But you shouldn't be miserable. You shouldn't be unhappy. You have to sort that out. And if there's just the two of you, then it's easy. You talk, and if you can't sort it out, then you've got options and you go your own ways. When there's kids involved, there's something different. Because then you've got responsibilities, then you've got obligations to them. And they deserve to make sure that you, the two of you, are doing your best to sort out all your problems. And the first thing you've got to do is actually communicate with them. Tell them what's wrong. Tell them what your problem is. And if they don't listen to you, do what she says up there. Bang his head against the wall. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. <laughs>